Good morning. I am Dr. Vishwash Kumar, postgraduate resident, Department of Radio Diagnosis from Atal Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences and Dr. Arvind Hospital, New Delhi. My title of paper presentation is MDCT Perfusion Imaging Evaluation of Focal Level Lesions. Aim and objective of this study is to evaluate the role of MDCT perfusion imaging in focal level lesions and to differentiate benign and malignant focal level lesions on the basis of MDCT perfusion imaging. Introduction. A focal level lesion is a discrete abnormality of the liver parenchyma. In the early stage of liver lesion, there are usually no typical clinical manifestations that can be detected by conventional imaging methods. Its incidence of detection is increasing due to advancement in imaging. Focal level lesion can either be benign or malignant. Early detection and differentiation of benign from malignant liver lesion is extremely important for planning treatment, monitoring of disease evolution, and prognosis. Multi-detector computer tomography has emerged as the modality that is frequently employed in the pre-operative diagnosis, staging of disease, treatment planning, and follow-up of patients with known or sus suspected liver lesions. It is the preferred imaging technique for the routine liver. Volume perfusion using a series of dynamically captured CT images of the volume being studied. Computer tomography perfusion evaluated the temporal changes in the tissue density following intravenous administration of iodinated contrast material. Qualitative as well as quantitative evaluation of hepatic perfusion is feasible with CT perfusion. CT perfusion efficiently locates abnormal tissue perfusion which is difficult to detect accurately with conventional CT. CT perfusion parameters such as blood flow, blood volume, mean transit time, total liver perfusion, arterial liver perfusion, and hepatic perfusion index are used to functionally assess the perfusion of pathological tissue in comparison to normal tissue. The study is an effort to assess the role of MDCT perfusion imaging in the characterization of focal liver lesions and differentiate them into benign and malignant liver lesions and help in deciding further course of management. Materials and methods the study was conducted in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Tatal Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences and Dr. RML Hospital, New Delhi. The patient referred for the CT perfusion scan after signing a written consent were included. The study included adult patient with at least one focal liver lesion detected on ultrasound or MRI and referred for CT scan or patients with incidentally detected focal liver lesion on CT abdomen done for any other indication. The study was performed on 128 slice CT scanner system. The study was a cross-sectional observational study. The duration of study is 1.5 years and a total number of 34 cases were included in the study. Inclusion criteria, adult patient with focal level lesion referred for CT scan. Exclusion criteria, pediatric age group. Patients who have already undergone surgical dissection or palliative treatment. Patient with impaired renal function. Patient with history of contrast allergy, lactating and pregnant females. Methodology, non-contrast CT scan of the liver extending from diaphragm to iliac crest in craniocordial direction was obtained during breath hold at the end of expiration. Perfusion CT of the liver was done in quiet breathing after intravenous injection of non-ionic iodinated contrast medium with a flow rate of 4 to 5 ml per second followed by 20 ml of normal saline at the rate of 4 to 5 ml per second using a power injector. Scanning was initiated after a delay of 4 seconds from the start of contrast injection and images were acquired for a duration of 49.9 seconds with total coverage of 15 cm of the liver. Reconstruction and post-processing was done to generate CT perfusion maps using inbuilt single volume perfusion CT body software. Region of interest was drawn at center as well as at the edge of the lesion and also drawn in the background liver parenchyma, which acted as a control. CT perfusion values for the lesion and background liver parenchyma including blood flow, blood volume, arterial liver perfusion, portal venous perfusion, hepatic perfusion index, and mean transit time were calculated. The results, the maximum number of patients lying in the age group of 41 to 60 years in the study, 
and there is a male preponderance of 55.9% in comparison to females in the study. A total of 14 patients were diagnosed with benign focal level lesion, whereas a total of 20 patients were diagnosed with malignant focal level lesion in this study. This is a table showing comparison of CT perfusion parameters between benign and malignant focal level lesions, out of which blood volume, arterial liver perfusion, and hepatic perfusion index shows a sig statistically significant difference with a p-value of less than 0 0.05. This is a table showing different types of focal level lesion which were diagnosed in this study. Among benign focal level lesion, hemangioma was found to be the most common, whereas metastasis and cholangiocarcinoma were found to be most common among malignant focal level lesion. Final diagnosis was based on clinical findings, lab investigations, serology, classical imaging findings, CT perfusion parameters, and histological analysis. ROC curve analysis to differentiate malignant from benign focal level lesions. The CT perfusion parameters, blood volume and arterial liver perfusion shows a sensitivity of 100%, whereas hepatic perfusion index shows a maximum specificity of 85.7% one person in the study. This is a table showing mean values of CT perfusion parameters in hemangioma, hepatocellular carcinoma, metastasis, and cholangiocarcinoma. Case one is of hydrated cyst. Post contrast CT shows daughter cyst within the lesion, and perfusion map shows lower values of blood flow and blood volume in the lesion as compared to the normal liver. Case 2 is of pyogenic abscess. Post contrast CT shows classic cluster sign of pyogenic liver abscess. Perfusion map shows hyperfused rim surrounding the abscess with raised blood flow when compared to the non involved hepatic parenchyma. Case 3 is of biopsy proved hepatic tuberculosis. Post contrast CT shows no enhancement of the lesion. Perfusion map showed decreased blood flow and blood volume in the lesion. Case 4 is of hemangioma in the right lobe of liver. Post contrast CT shows intense peripheral nodular and centripetal enhancement of, of the lesion. Perfusion map at the periphery of the lesion shows increased blood flow and blood volume parameters. Case 5 is of biopsy proven hepatocellular carcinoma. Post contrast CT shows heterogeneous enhancement of the lesion. The perfusion map show increased blood flow and blood volume and arterial liver perfusion parameter at the periphery of the lesion. Case 6 is of biopsy proven liver metastasis from primary GB malignancy. Post contrast CT shows heterogeneous enhancement of the lesion with central area of necrosis. Perfusion map shows increased blood flow, blood volume, and hepatic perfusion index at the periphery of the lesion. Case 7 is of hypervascular mats from a known primary in the colon. Post contrast CT shows heterogeneously enhanced lesion, and perfusion map shows increased blood flow and blood volume at the periphery of the lesion. Case 8 is of cholangiocarcinoma. Post contrast CT shows bilobar central and peripheral dilated biliary radicals, and perfusion map shows increased arterial liver perfusion, hepatic perfusion index at the periphery of the lesion. Coming on to the discussion, CT perfusion is a non invasive imaging modality which permits the qualitative as well as quantitative assessment of liver perfusion. Majority of the patients with focal level lesion were in the age group of 41 to 60 years in the study. There is a male preponderance of 55.9% when compared to females. The most common benign focal level lesion was found to be hemangioma, whereas the most common malignant focal level lesions were metastasis and cholangiocarcinoma in the study. CT perfusion parameters including blood volume, arterial liver perfusion, hepatic perfusion index values, 
in differentiating malignant from benign focal level lesions showed a statistically significant difference. Other CT perfusion parameters like blood flow, portal venous perfusion, and mean transit time demonstrates no statistically significant difference. Conclusion, CT perfusion is an important quantifiable functional imaging technique which is helpful in differentiating malignant from benign focal level lesions by determining alteration in perfusion parameters of the lesion. Hence, the single CT can provide valuable information regarding morphology as well as functional images. CT perfusion can be included as a part of standard CT protocol in order to provide functional information of focal level lesion. CT perfusion parameters including blood volume, arterial liver perfusion, and hepatic perfusion index showed significant difference in differentiating malignant from benign focal level lesion. However, there is increased radiation exposure compared to conventional CT scan. Future research on low-dose radiation imaging techniques will advance the knowledge and understanding of tumor physiology. These are the list of references. Thank you.